Christopher, Governor Matt Bevin will most likely talk about his accomplishments over the past year and the accomplishments of lawmakers now that Republicans control both the House and the Senate, and we'll probably get a preview of what's to come for the rest of the year. Governor Matt Bevin has plenty to talk about. Republicans now control both chambers of the legislature as well as the governor's office, so they've been pushing through a conservative agenda. Bevin has been trimming regulations with his red tape initiative, and Kentucky's economy is in good shape. Republicans say it's been a good year. Democrats are a little more hesitant. I hope the governor will come uh, forth like he has uh, to really articulate a, a, a clear picture of what we've been doing in the past, where we are now, and where we're going in the future. Uh, we had a very uh, robust first week, and this first week we've been up here, it's been, it's been crazy as well. I hope the governor doesn't reduce the State of the Commonwealth address to politics. This is about policy. We have some big problems facing Kentucky that need bipartisan input to go forward. So I hope that this is a speech where he says, guess what? There has been a, a change of the guard in Frankfurt, but we still have issues, and we still need input from every side to make the best policy going forward. And that address is scheduled to begin at 7 o'clock here in the House Chambers. We'll be live streaming it on the WLKY mobile app, and we'll have reaction at 10 and 11 tonight. Live in Frankfurt, Mark Vandroff, WLKY News.